Hi, my name is Ali Shersava from Breach Digital. In this video, we're going to go through each and every single component of the buck converter that you're going to learn to design in this online workshop. Okay, so first let us start with uh, the input capacitors. So here we've got uh, the in, then you typically have a bank of capacitors. Uh, usually you have some electrolytics, I'm going to call Elco, and some ceramics. And of course we're going to learn exactly how to size these and how to select them as part of this workshop. And then that goes into a FET, let's call this Q1. Uh, again, we will discuss in detail exactly how you select the switch. Uh, you must have a free wheeling diode, let's call that D1. Again, we will learn how to choose this. Same with the choke L1 or output power inductor. And then you have a certain amount of output capacitance that we call C out. And again, we will learn about how we calculate this and how we select. So that is the power stage. And then we need to talk about the compensator. So we will learn how to design our compensator. That typically involves a potential divider. And that goes into our PWMIC. Now inside of our PWMIC, there is usually a operational amplifier which we use to do our compensator so let us draw this operational amplifier here oops not there here now internally this is usually tied to an internal reference that's the invert uh, non-inverting pin that is the inverting pin and the output of this these are the pins of the chip will go to our compensating components, which for a buck, if you're using a voltage mode buck, will be a type three. If you're using current mode, uh, uh, it will be a type two. But again, we will discuss this in, in complete detail and, and how we select the component values in this workshop. You will have a capacitor, a resistor, another capacitor. That would, that would be what we call a type two compensator for a type three, we have an extra capacitor resistor. So the compensating components, therefore, are these. And again, not only we will discuss how we calculate these values, we in fact will provide a software tool that calculates them all for you. So we just teach why we place our poles and zeros and so on the way we do. Then uh, let us uh, say that this is for simplicity, that's a TPS. 40200, that's a very popular chip from TI. Vast majority of modern chips have got, got a pin for soft start and a soft start capacitor. So let's call this soft start. So you have a soft start capacitor. There will be at least one capacitor or a capacitor resistor in order to do the clock. So let us do resistor, capacitor, uh, let's call this R clock and let's call this C clock and this is your clock. Um, and then in addition to this, you obviously have to uh, do a current limiting. Uh, so there is typically a current sense pin. Now, depending on whether this is a P-type or an N-type, the current sense pin, perhaps with a little bit of capacitance for filtering, will either measure the current across the ground or on the high side. That, and that is just to trip uh, our power supply. So this will be our sense, which goes to I, I sense. And then uh, the output of this will go to the PWM. There we go. PWM, and sometimes we put an extra resistor here, our gate, that's your gate drive resistor, which slows down the FET a little bit if you need to. And in addition, if this is a bit noisy, sometimes you have an RC snubber here. Again, we will 
teach exactly how you calculate these values and we provide free tools that will allow you to calculate them all. So there we go. This is the uh, overall components that you have to calculate for the buck converter. And in this workshop, we're going to go through them uh, as we go through the lessons. Thank you very much for watching.